Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my kitchen. So for today's recipe, I'm actually going down memory lane. I actually grew up in Germany. All of my relatives, bar my parents and my son are in Germany. And I love the pasta, the traditional pasta of the region that I come from. And that is Spätzle. So today I am veganizing that recipe so I can relive the memories of eating this delicious pasta and it's so quick and easy to make as well so i hope you give it a try because nothing tastes better than homemade pasta let's get into the recipe Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. so first up i've got a bowl and i've put one and a half cups of plain organic flour into this but you can use any flour of your choice. I've used a, an array of different flour types and they have all worked really well. Okay, so to this, I am going to add two tablespoons of ground or finely ground cornmeal. I'm also adding one and a half tablespoons of tapioca flour. So next I'm adding a mixture of coarse Celtic sea salt and color namak. So color namak is a pink colored salt, not to be confused with Himalayan rock salt. It's totally different and it's sulfuric. It has a very egg-like smell and taste. So it'll add a bit of an eggy flavor to these noodles or to this pasta. So I've got about one teaspoon of the coarse Celtic sea salt and half a teaspoon of the color namak going into this dry mixture. And then also I'm just going to add just a touch of turmeric just for color really to make it look like the traditional egg based <laughs> pasta that I'm making. So then give these dry ingredients a really good mix through. And now it's time to add some liquid. So I've got about a cup's worth of cashew milk, but you could use soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk, any, any type of milk that you like the taste of. And I'm just going to add maybe three quarters of this, not quite the whole lot. And I'll just see how this comes together. Now it's still a little bit dry, so I'll just add the rest of that liquid in. And just keep mixing this until it's really well combined. Another way that you can actually mix this is with a wooden spoon and just use the handle part and use that to mix this together. It's much easier than using a whisk. I've actually got a special whisk that opens at the front, so it's not a problem, but a wooden spoon really does make it easy. So this mixture is now ready to go. So let's bring a pot of water to the boil and cook it up. Okay, so now that this water is boiling, there are two different types of gadgets <laughs> or pasta makers that you can use for this. So the first one is a, what we would call a potato press, a potato ricer. So these are readily available on Amazon or various online shops or any kitchen store. So this is one type. And if you want the pasta to actually be longer, more like a spaghetti shape I guess then this is perfect because you can press it through and it makes longer strands of the pasta. Now I have an alternative version this is one that my cousin actually gave me from Germany and it's a Tupperware brand and it's really easy to use because you can just hook it over the top of the pot put your mixture or your dough on top of here and then just press it through into the hot water and that makes it really really easy the pasta is smaller when you do it that way but i do remember in germany it was served either way so you could have the small types of pasta or the larger one and i like it both ways but cooking wise it's really really easy with this so let's get cooking so just place this on top of your pot and then just get some of your mixture. And pour it on. Okay, that's the whole lot in there actually. So 
I'm just going to start pressing this through and it'll start to go into the water underneath and then a little bit like gnocchi it will actually float to the top as soon as it's done so it's really quick and easy to do and then just scrape the last bits off the bottom of this and let it cook up and then as soon as they're done they'll float to the top as I mentioned and it's just similar to gnocchi but it's a pasta so this is quick and easy to make it doesn't get any easier than this so it's done I usually just get a slotted spoon to lift these out or you could just pour them straight into a strainer and strain them off that way but if I'm cooking multiple batches I will just have one of these on hand so the hot water is still there to use and then I will strain them off and that's it your pasta is ready to go you have just made homemade pasta <laughs> and literally from start to finish really the longest part of this process is waiting for the water to come to a boil so there you have it spätzle but my vegan version of these 100% plant-based no eggs needed and they taste absolutely delicious so traditionally this would be served with um, cheese baked over the top which you could do you could use some vegan cheese or one of my plant-based cheese sauces and bake that over the top it tastes delicious or even a pesto goes really well with that mushroom gravy whatever types of sauces you like work perfectly and I'm gonna go and make a sauce right now and have this for my lunch so I hope you give it a try and if you want to take some photos of your creations maybe share them over in Instagram and tag me or join the cooking with plants Facebook group and share with everyone there I would love to see your creation and what you make with this so I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe bye for now mmm oh yummy so good mmm